why wouldn't you want to put in the same amount of work for the, that this person that you admire did in order for you to get what you want? Like, is it a matter of fear that it's not going to happen? Is it a matter of, you know, um, not thinking that it's even possible, that it can even happen for you, that you're not the special one? <laughs> What's going on, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Tunji's Podcast. I am your host, Tunji Taylor Lewis. I am recording this on a Sunday evening right now, and I'm very, very happy because tomorrow there is no work. There is no work. It's a holiday over here in uh, BC. Uh, it's BC Day. I think it's the anniversary of when BC became a province in Canada or something like that. All I, I don't know. All I know is I get a day off from work. I'm gonna, you know, spend it, you know you know catching up on stuff that i should be doing or whatnot i don't know how i spend my time but you know a day off to day off and i'm very very happy about that um today guys i kind of wanted to discuss something that i have been thinking about all day which is 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 uh, the question in my head is is being a hard worker a talent or is it something that everybody is capable of right so um you know, I've been told by people, you know, the reason why, you know, I'm at with my, where I'm at with my Instagram or, you know, the reasons why I was able to develop my skills, you know, as a, uh, as an improviser or stuff like that. The reason why I was able to make my way up the ladder so quickly during that time is because I have a talent for being a hard worker. And uh, I found that to be interesting because, you know, for basically my entire life i just thought that uh being a hard worker that somebody was that everybody was capable of so long as they were doing something that they cared about and doing something that they were passionate about right um i know for me that i can be extremely lazy and forgetful and procrast and and procrastinate quite a bit when I'm doing stuff that I don't particularly care about and you know that would show up in my report cards in school for example like whenever I was doing subjects that I didn't care about like you know like religious studies and I had to write a 10 page paper on it you know I wasn't the hardest worker but you know you put me you know on the stage in front of a group of people I'm gonna obsess over how I can be the best performer I can be right so um, it, it, it's, it's something that definitely um, I think about quite a bit because you think about like I always like to use sports for example when it comes to hard work you think about a guy like Kobe Bryant for example right you know disgusting work ethic you know during the summers he was working out three times a day um, and that's the reason why he became the legend that he was is because like he just got in so much more practice than everybody else um, that you know by the time he you know he was in his fourth fifth year in the league he was like already the best player in the league and it just kept on getting better and better and more ridiculous from there that's why you saw the 60 point games that's why you saw the 81 point game that's why he got the five chips like he was who he was and the, the crazy thing for me that I always think about when it comes to Kobe is that, you know, he wasn't doing anything that other NBA players weren't capable of doing, right? Vince Carter came into the league just as talented as Kobe. Tracy McGrady came into the league just as talented as Kobe. Um, you know, Allen Iverson, um, you know, the list goes on and on. Just players who were, you know, talented like Kobe was but they didn't have his mindset they didn't have his work ethic and for me I look at that and I'm just like um, doesn't it make sense that if this guy is putting in this much work and he's becoming this good and I want to be this good wouldn't it make sense for me to work that hard like that's you know what I mean like that's just what makes sense to me and you know, I, I remember kind of like going through that during like my improv days, you know, I would be in the theater like all the time, like all the time, just working real hard and, you know, like learning as much as I can. And it really, really blew my mind that, you know, that, you know, some of my other uh, castmates who I performed with, um, I wasn't like 
I wasn't like they should be working as hard as me. Like I wasn't like anything like that. But like I was just, I guess I would just be surprised that they would be down on themselves for not performing at the level that they wanted to or not being as good as they wanted to be. And yet they were content with just like basically not putting in the extra work and time that it, that would be necessary to make it happen right and but but then back to the kobe thing like so that just makes me think like is it that kobe part of kobe's talent was that he was a hard worker or was it like what like what is it you know what i mean like how could you be just as talented as a Kobe Bryant and not put in the same amount of work that he puts in. Like, don't you want to win multiple championships? Like, don't you want to be considered one of the top five greatest players on earth? Like, why would you not put that work in? Like, that doesn't, like, I'm gonna be honest, like, that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Like, you look at someone like Carmelo Anthony, who's on first take, you know, who's basically being blackballed from the league. And this is a guy who had the talent to be like one of if not the greatest scorer of all time but he clearly didn't put the work in um to evolve his game and he didn't put the work in to be the best teammate he could be um so yeah is being a hard worker a talent is it something that some people just naturally have and is it something that other people just have to get better at um it's something i wonder about a lot i know i'm a hard worker um but again it's in stuff that i care about so like i remember like during like my track days right like th there was a time when i sucked i was terrible and i wanted to get better so i'd put in extra runs during the summer because i knew i needed to get better with my endurance i needed to get better with like you know being able to sustain my acceleration over long longer distances so like you know i would put in like extra runs and all that stuff and you know um you know even like right now like i'm boxing i just started uh, we have the day off tomorrow, the gym is closed tomorrow, and so like I called up a friend of mine who I know has boxing equipment and I want to get a, 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 a workout session with him just because I didn't feel myself getting like real obsessed with, you know, the the, the, the craft and like the skill of it because there's just so much I, I have to learn and there's so much, you know, I'm not good at it yet and I just really, really want to get good at it, right? Um... I guess the reason why I'm, I'm putting the question out there is because, you know, you know, I, just like when I see people, when I see their talent, when I, when I see their gifts, like, I'm just so amazed at all the different things that people are, are capable of doing. And, you know, I also understand that not everybody is as ambitious as me. So, you know, so, you know, I, I have an understanding of that. I have an understanding that nobody, that not everybody wants to be like, you know, you know, like one of the greatest ever at, at, at what they do, which is something that I've always had. So that's that's fine. But um, but um, but I guess what I'm wondering is, is like, is the mindset of just like allowing life to happen to you and just seeing what happens and just like you know crossing your fingers that your hopes and dreams are gonna happen. Um, is that something that people are like predisposed to or is that or does that have to do with like you know what you've been told like what people have put your inside your head like the environment that you in, whether your environment is like a positive one where you're where you're being encouraged or if it's one where you're being like discouraged like like what's the, like what's like what's the difference like i'm it's you know I certainly I certainly don't have the answer to my to that question like what's the difference between you know Will Smith and other actors like Will Smith like has his production company and has had control of his own own destiny and that's a path that very few other actors have followed and like that that's crazy to me it's like it's like like why like why wouldn't you want to be the best that you could be um like why wouldn't you want to you know uh put in the 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 same amount of work that it that it, that it took like this other person who you admire for them sorry why wouldn't you want to put in the same amount of work for the, that this person that you admire did in order for you to get what you want like is it a matter of fear that it's not gonna happen is it a matter of you know um 
not thinking that it's even possible that it can even happen for you that you're not the special one um yeah man i don't know i i feel like that maybe that's the thing that a lot of people have like you know maybe messed up about you know achieving dreams is that you know like we're all capable of just making it happen if we just like put our all of our effort towards it and you know i'm not trying to be like a motivational speaker i just I guess for me, it's just like sort of this thing is like, I just see how amazing everybody is and I have such admiration for like a whole bunch of people. And like, I don't know, I just have like such a passion and I just like wish that, you know, some that some of these people would like realize how amazing they are. And, you know, I almost feel like if they saw how amazing they were, that they would like, you know, put everything towards like, you know, making an impact on the communities and the larger world, like all that stuff. So. Yeah, y'all, that's my little rant for today. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.